Hello, and before we get started, let me grab your attention with this. Okay, this is who I am, first of all. Not an animal soldier, but I am an artist. My name is Brian Proctor. I am an artist, okay? Comic books, children's books, I do it all. So I consider myself an artist. Now, before we go any further, if I should start stumbling and falling and so forth, that's because this is not a prepared video. My friend Edgar asked me to do an introductory for you guys to let you know why I like to draw, or a little bit about myself and why I like to draw. Well, let me start out by saying in when I was really young, I was not the type of kid that likes to go out and run with a lot of people. I enjoyed staying in, being by myself, and being a loner, shall we say. My mind was always running. It was always running. It was always putting me in situations. I like to think about going to other planets and, and you know, walking in the bottom of the ocean. I, I love science fiction. That's just me. So as I grew, I realized that I could draw just a little bit, just a little bit. So I would always stay home and I would draw little things. And then along the way, I discovered comic books because back in the day, we didn't have video games. We didn't have YouTube because, you know, I'm old. You know, the only thing we had was we'd sit around and throw rocks at dinosaurs because, yeah, that's just how it was. So I, I started drawing and back where I was at, back in the day, there was no comic book stores. There were no people to teach you to, to do comics, to, to draw. So I had to learn myself. So I just looked at everything that I could and I started to try to draw it. And it was always wrong. It was always wrong. And then I realized one thing. Everything is a shape. If you look behind me, you see a bunch of squares and rectangles. You know, so drawing is just putting shapes and stuff together. So I had to study and I studied and I studied. And um, because I like comic books. And back, back then, comic books were like 15 cents. So I told you, I'm, I'm old. So I studied the anatomy. I had to get the anatomy right before you could do anything else. Hopefully the light will catch this. I'm going to make this really short and sweet. So I studied the anatomy as best I could. I kept going. I kept going. I started looking at magazines of uh, people um, modeling swimwear and just, you know, women uh, modeling just underwear, just everything just to get the anatomy. And then once I got it, I started doing action pose positions because you have to do that kind of thing if you want to draw your characters in action poses. And the reason I love comics is because there's always a story to go with it. I, like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm a writer. I was a writer when I was young in my head. So once I got older and understood how to put a story together, I started doing my characters from back in the day and started bringing them to life. Like this is one of my comic books and it's Trials, Trials of the Samurai Clown. And this is the Samurai Clown. This is the star of that book. Samurai Clown. So as I taught myself, as I was growing up and got better and better and better, I found a group of people who were into comic books because I didn't know comic books were actually drawn. I thought they were like printed, you know, by a machine and then sent out to the stores. But these guys showed me, you know, about comic books, like comic book paper. I didn't know there was a comic book paper that you had to draw on. I didn't know, you know, about inking, what to ink with, any of that. But once they showed me and I got better and better, people would come and say, oh, wow, you're good. How did you do that? You know, so they would ask me to show them some things. And then I slowly started teaching as uh, I started putting more and more drawings out and eventually did a book. So, you know, you might not want to do comics. You might just want to draw some of your favorite, you know, comic book characters. But when you have that ability, that skill, don't don't stick with one thing. I tell people, I love comics because there's a story, but I do other things other than comics. But I'm just kind of showing you some of the comic stuff that I do. Um, you might not want to get into comics. You might want to do something a little easier, like children's books. This is this is a page from my children's book, that one of my children's books that I did. I love tunes, uh, Bugs Bunny, uh, Daffy Duck, all those guys. I loved them when I was growing up, when we finally got a TV. So <laughs> I started putting these guys in different things, but my love of comics started to come out, and then I started doing crazy stuff like that. And that. And that. So the mind was always racing for me. It was always racing. I could never just sit still 
and do one thing. I would draw something and I was like, oh, I have an idea. And I would draw something else. As you see behind me, some of my other drawings, that's, that's, that's my car. That's, that's my car that I want. <laughs> but as I grew up and people discovered that I had the ability to do this, I started teaching. I started teaching in elementary school. I started teaching in high school. I even started teaching in college. So, but now I'm basically doing YouTube. YouTube is a lot easier to do. So, I guess that's me in a nutshell. I just, I just, I guess one of the questions would be why, why do I enjoy drawing? And I could say, well, why does someone like singing? Why does somebody walk around the house singing all the time? Because that song is in them. Those songs are in them. For me, that fire is in me to draw, to create, to show people you know, to tell people my stories. That's probably why I enjoy doing comics. I do children's books or just showing other people how to do that because that fire might be inside of you and you might have that story to tell and you might want to be able to draw. So uh, Edgar had, we had been talking for a while and he has his own comic books and hopefully he won't get upset when I show you some of his characters. These are my drawings, but these are some of his characters that he wants me to bring to life. And I'm doing so, or I've done so, or I'm still helping him. So, yeah. And then, of course, there is his newest one, the Mighty Joe Box. Joe Box. Why am I looking around that way? That's why I have the thing over here. So, yeah. That's kind of me in a nutshell. Being an artist, you know, I love to draw. I'm not, as I said, I'm not an outside person. You don't have to run around with the crowd. You can stay inside and create and just live your dream. And this is my dream, doing this, teaching people creating, doing my comic books, my children's books, just knowing that I am getting my story out. That is my dream and I'm happy doing it. So if you guys want to learn to draw, come to my YouTube channel and there's a lot on there. There's a lot on there for you to learn. All right. So that's going to be it for me. I'll see you guys and enjoy your day.